Good morning on day one of the trek across Washington State. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I stayed in, uh, I camped out next to a water tower last night because the campsite was full because of the 4th of July or Independence Day. So that was interesting. I was gonna go stay in the woods but uh, just couldn't find a flat spot, so uh, woke up at about 4.15 and I just got anxious and I already started trekking. This is the turnoff onto the Olympic Discovery Trail. And it is pretty nice, don't you think? All you viewers out there, there's a pretty cool river. Uh, not sure how to get down to it, but doing the best that I can. And I just found out I'm gonna be rescued at Wanna Pump Dam. Yeah. So that would that'd be perfect. That will be full circle. And uh, yeah, we'll. That'll be all the way across the state. I mean, I did that two years ago. Nah. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. <laughs> also, should mention that. I am a slug murderer, I think. I mean, I tried to avoid it, but it was too late. And it was on the front of my tire. But I saw a bunch of others get squashed too, so I guess I sh shouldn't feel too bad. There's a lot of slug murderers out there. Ooh, that was a, that was a cool caterpillar. Uh, yeah, there's a Ton of brown bunnies. I usually see white rabbits or where I work sometimes, but a lot of brown bunnies, so it goes back to that genetic traits are passed down in other areas. It goes back to biology 101. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Having a good time. <laughs> smells really good out here. I always thought it smelled like cotton candy, just sweet smelling. And I saw a lady back there and she was all smiling, so I'm sure she enjoyed being out here too. <laughs> and then I just saw people swimming in the Soul Duck River. I might have to try that myself. <laughs> Misa
I know. And it's windy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going through the tunnel. It's windy. Now we're going over a big. Echo, 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 the okay. okay here is what happened I cycled through the Olympic Discovery Trail and got into the parking area at some resort uh, Wood Lodge Resort, something like that. Oh yeah, Log Cabin Resort. And there were so many people there. It was already full anyway. So I went with the original plan and headed toward Elawa, which is the what? <laughs> and um, so that's where I am at the RV park. And I guess because it's an RV park, it's more expensive. $60, which isn't too bad, but I provide my own sleeping utilities so oh well whatever uh, blah, blah. so just i was watching for cars trying not to get hit i went the wrong way at first and uh anyway nobody's perfect I noticed it because I was just going around Crescent Lake on the other side. I was like, this is not right. And then people were like, get out the road, you dumb idiot or something. Uh, like, I'm not a dumb idiot. Okay, maybe I am. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, so I... I was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. So I turned around. I looked at my map and I was like, yeah, it's not right. So I turned around and I was like, I should have gone that way. So I went up the hill and then fortunately I saw some other cyclists. And that let me know I was on the right track. And so I just kept going that way. Got into Joyce at the general store and at some refreshments. Mostly water because it's pretty hot. You know, it's July. It's supposed to get up to 100 degrees soon. 
So I will be ending my journey at Wanapum Dam Park, where I ended last time in 2022. This time I will not be camping on the sprinklers or, you know, getting around the sprinklers, getting my tent all wet. <laughs> you like stupid. Dumb idiot, or darn actor. But yeah, just a flawed human. So, anyway, tomorrow will be interesting going through Port Townsend. I mean, Port Angeles. And then, uh, well, first. The Fairchild Air Force, I mean, <laughs> Fort Fair, it's a civilian airport, not the one I work at. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, and yeah, going past Port Angeles and some other towns, and then over to Port Townsend, and then I was talking to my wife, and then She's like, why don't you check out the state parks and federal parks? Well, first I checked the federal parks, didn't find anything around there, but I checked the state parks and there were, there's the uh, Fort, not Port, <laughs> Townsend, which is pretty close to where I was going to cross over, take the ferry. So I will, camp out there tomorrow should be about 60 miles I guess not too bad and it'll be cool going around Discovery Bay might be really scenic there I imagine and that's all I have to Hey, good night. Good morning, everybody. Funny how this trail is looking like the PCT today. Check it out. Blah 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 Los Angeles.
Yeah, it's like Los Angeles was lost and looking for this port. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, there's a deer up there. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. Right. Well, I already stayed the night last night in uh, not, not the RV, that was the other night. <laughs> but I stayed last night in the state or uh, yeah the state park of or historic state park of uh, Fort Townsend yeah. so now I'm head toward the ferry Washington State Ferry Glad whatever gets me up in the morning gets me up because gives me plenty of time to get there. No worries. <laughs> Factory over there. And Yeah, I was grateful for the ministry and uh, getting my bike fixed and the other port, uh, Port Angeles. That was pretty cool. And then they had the arcade there. I took some video of it, but a lot of people and I didn't want to video them, so. <laughs> It is, you know, it's kind of awkward to be like, why are you filming me? So, don't want to do that. Really <laughs> going to the road to the ferry. That's it. It is never wrong to spell marshmallow m-a-r-s-h-m-e-l-l -L. wait start again <laughs> it is never right to spell marshmallow m-a-r-s-h-m-e-l-l-o-w it's m-a-r-l-l-o-w <laughs> so if you spell it m-e-l-l-o-w that's just wrong. Hello everybody, um, it's one of those times today where I am sort of lost <laughs> and it's at the Bothell WSU campus. It's like in Spokane they have 
campuses for different colleges and even though it's not in the town of uh yeah it's just trying to cross over 522 and the railroad tracks and then i can get onto the sammamish river trail or whatever it is and then i think it's smooth sailing to get to carnation so that is where I am right now. In the future, I'll look back on this and laugh. Ha ha ha. Okay. I've been pondering this question. It's probably a simple answer, but uh, I always wonder why are trails and roads so negative? They always say road narrows, but never road widens. Or it says reduce speed now or you know, slow down but it never says speed up <laughs> I mean how are people to know when to speed up or when something good happens like the road gets wider that's just a thing I was thinking about <laughs> for a little while a few days I am on the Sammamish, Sammamish, Sammamish River Trail, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at the scenery. Hello. Good afternoon, or good nabin, 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 nabin. This is the Tolt Pipeline Trail and it runs into the Snoqualmie Valley Road or something. And I'm just glad to get away from all the busy section, Seattle and the uh, outlying. It seems like you just keep going from one section of Seattle to another. That's the other direction there. My bike has some problems. <laughs> anyway. Still on the Tolt Pipeline Trail. I gotta say this is really something. And this cool river here. I gotta see where I am, but man, this is really cool. <laughs> There's my bicycle shaving the road. pretty good. Head, still headed to Snoqualmie Valley Trail. Uh, it's, it's probably a ways, but that's okay. I'm enjoying this. It's really cool. A lot of hills, but uh, it's really cool. And that, and that is why they call it the Tolt Valley pipeline because there's a pipeline and it's dangerous you should keep off that because it's the supply for Seattle. Kind of like when I was doing the PCT in Washington State and um, <laughs> I was going by the water supply for Seattle and uh, we're gonna go up that hill there. Significant like the other one but yeah yeah, I just escaped with my life because um, I was on that Tolt Pipeline trail and uh, um, it went, went through yeah, went, went through some uh, private land on 133rd Street but there was no other way and Man, it was steep. It, it was like uh, so, many, so many cars. Um, anyway, um, 
yeah, it was really steep. I was like, this can't be legal. But anyway, uh, I made it without shotguns blasting my head off. So that's good. All right, once again, less traffic too. Um, not as noisy. Um, yeah, here's the Snoqualmie Valley Trail. 7.2 miles to Carnation. So, closer, but no cigar. Man, I'm still, can't believe I just went through all that. I think maybe they were just doing that to add to the drama of this program and everyone's program on YouTube. Maybe, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway. Uh, man, I was so steep too. I was like, I'm glad I have somewhat good traction. Anyway, these crazy motorists. So noisy. Anyway, <laughs> they all gotta outdo the other with their motors and whatnot. I just don't get it. Please help me understand. <laughs> so, here's this cool bridge. Ow. Uh, mosquitoes. <laughs> um, yeah, like look at the boards. They're all on their end. <laughs> this is the Tolt and McDonald campground over there. And, the tents up on the hill over there. I don't even know. I didn't see anything to pay. I don't know. But I'll find out later. I'm gonna get a sandwich or something at the store. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm on the Snoqualmie Valley Trail. That's the way I'm going. That's where I came from. <laughs> and uh, headed toward, of all things, Snoqualmie. Uh, that is the next town. And there'll be some winding around on this trail. Some climbing. Probably lots of climbing today into North Bend. That was to be expected because going over Snoqualmie Pass, a lot of Snoqualmie things today. And then go by Kichalis, Chihalis Lake, and then end up in Kichis, Cassius Lake. Camp out there tonight. 57 miles to go. Still good morning. And there. Uh, still good morning. Yeah. But, uh, it's just really nice. <coughs> Out here. Knee hurts so. Sometimes I have to get off and walk the bike. And I thought, just film a little bit. This sort of video that you're filming. Trespass in any way. I did that yesterday. Shoot. 
a little scurvy. Had to do it. Otherwise, I'd be backtracking about 20 miles or so. <laughs> I was like, no way. No way, Jose. Seiko with the baseball bat. How about Gonzalo with the baseball bat? <laughs> Muggly, you snickering hound. I said I laugh like Muttley sometimes. I do that a lot. <laughs> Yay. Anyway. Okay. That's enough for now. I just <clears throat> that would be funny to mention that, like on the Pacific Crest Trail, the tree starts eating your sign. And, yeah, just eating the sign <laughs> there, like on the PCT. But this has really been different kind of day versus yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's been great. As people said it would be, I had no, had no idea what to expect. But this is awesome. Here are the birds. Distant cars over there. Listen, do you hear? That is the sound of power going into your homes. <laughs> wow. Pretty awesome trail so far. <laughs> Anyway, don't stand under the power lines too long. Might get cans or something. So this is the part we um, I didn't know that would happen, but uh, here we are in the town of Snoqualmie. Quite a good downhill there. And then I had to get off the trail. I uh, guess that part was coming up. I just didn't, I guess I was so into forest and like oh dead end sort of because trees and like the trail just kind of petered out there <laughs> so here we are in Snoqualmie here we are yes we're back with the funky new track dynamic winds place in the place something like this where you want to go. And there's a map there. <laughs> there's been a reflection higher than me. <laughs> anyway, uh, got 35 miles to go to Cassius Lake. And that's where we get. Uh, yeah, we've crossed that Boxley Creek back there. Um, I was going to say something that I forgot. <laughs> but it's pretty awesome. There's a trail over there. Yeah, there's mosquitoes. You can hear them, probably. So I better get going. So, I, again, I was thinking about um, something that sounded pretty cool. And, uh, it goes like, 
Bow. 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 Kind of started started with the yeah that's my brakes or the squeakiness or something the mosquitoes uh, anyway uh, yeah I was like it started with the when Yoshi spits the key out and like bow or something like that <laughs> and then goes he played a lot of Mario games anyway that's good uh, yeah this is the Bootski, Bootski, I think, Creek, and then there's a waterfall there. It's pretty cool. And then this is the old trestle I'm crossing. And then there's some mountains over there. Can't see what I'm seeing. Okay. So. <coughs> so. And on down the trail there. Pretty good in live. Bad mosquitoes. So I was thinking in the past, like in the 1800s when this was a railroad, were the people on the train thinking, you know, maybe in the future this will become a trail. No, they probably never thought about that. Mm. Because we fell in love with cars instead of trains or something. I don't know. Yes. But in the meantime, I was thinking about. Welcome to NBA Jam, Jam, Jam. And there it goes. <laughs> okay, mosquitoes are attacking, and so or horse flies or something. Sometimes it's horse flies, sometimes mosquitoes, sometimes it's just house flies. Okay, you can hear that we're getting closer to I ninety. So that means closer to Snoqualmie Pass, which is great. And this is not a, as much of a climb as I thought or it looked like on the phone, <laughs> on the map. Yeah, it's not, I was thinking it'd be really difficult, but it's not that bad. And so I just thought of another parody. <laughs> I ran out of juice on my bike, so I gotta get in my pack to get more juice. And then sometimes you have to go to the store to buy more juice or Gatorade or whatever suits your fancy. Or fancies or suit. If you're wearing a suit, that is. So it goes a little something like this. Next time I drink more juice I'll have to get to my pack next time I drink my juice Ooh. the next time I drink my juice the next time I drink my juice I'll have to get in my pack yeah, and that's the way it is. <sighs> Got to get to the mat back for my juice. <laughs> it sounds like Mad Catter from Inspector Gadget. Like, Gadget, 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 Gadget. <laughs> I'm weird, I know. I think it's the wilderness it does something to the brain. I'm just 
turned down the miles and sort of excited to get to where I'm going. And uh, all you gotta do is keep going. Keep on trucking. Yeah, keep on trucking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know it. Keep on trucking. Not that we're driving any trucks. We're driving a bike that's like a truck because hauling my goods and services for myself. Nobody else can take it from me. <laughs> Do you have the ring? May I see it? It's eyes. It's eyes. We must see the ring. And it will be eyes. If I only had a brain. Anyway. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> anyway. Something that mosquitoes aren't attacking me right now. That's that's some good news. And just take it easy. Why? Because sometimes my knee hurts. I guess it's because I'm getting older. I mean, 48 years old. I guess body starts breaking down. So much to look forward to in life, but also hiking and biking. That's the good stuff. And doing crazy stuff on my computer, or artwork, or something. Whoa, pot hole. It's a pot hole. So, if this was the PCT, that would be the time to fill up your container, or if you have more than one. For this state, this place in the state, uh, I would just bring one 1 1.5 liter, or maybe two, just in case. Because I know there's a 14 mile stretch where there's no water. But if you're cycling, that's not too far. So I, I just go to the town and buy more juice. <laughs> and that takes us back to the song. The next time I buy more juice. I'll be left broke. Yeah, gotta watch my budget now. <laughs> Get paid on Friday, so that's good. Oh, I love. <laughs> well. I think I'll get back on my bike and get on down the trail now. Bye. Hi, unfortunately it's me again. Um, I just want to know how in the hell did they haul that honey bucket up here? I mean, look at the trail. I guess you have to take the posts out and then take a car up here. 
loaded or something, but that's pretty cool up there. I know I say pretty cool too much. It's fascinating. It's fantastic. Good. Yeah, I was gonna film that too. All the cool mountains. Yeah, we see that on the PCT. No, it's it is new. It's always awesome. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, there's uh, I ninety there. I thought that was like a beginning of a forest fire over there. Can't see behind the telephone pole. Uh, no, I think it's just crews working on expanding the road, or you know, so rocks don't fall or something. Hope that's what they did. Saw it off in the distance back there. get a better look <laughs> but I think it's they're just chiseling away at the rock and it makes smoke yeah it's probably cool it's okay uh, it's me again sorry about I was interrupted there because there was somebody coming and I didn't want to film the person. Um, but I thought of a funny, or it could be serious PSA because I'm always picking up other people's garbage. Probably other people doing it too. And it goes, It only takes a moment to pick up a piece of or beard or something like that. <laughs> and then like there'll be a bunch of people walking like help keep America looking great or something and everybody's like holding hands sort of like in the 80s like hands across America or something and then there'll be like a heavy metal guy and he comes out and he's like oh yeah oh yeah I don't know it sounded better in my head <laughs> it's like, ow, yeah! <laughs> Only takes a moment to pick up a piece of trash. Yeah. And keep America. Hey. Edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, here's a nature moment. It just fascinates me this type of flower because um, it's like it's a a big system, you know, the whole thing. But then you get to the smaller part, and then you get down there where it's blurry, <laughs> and uh, there's five, or count them, <laughs> like four or five petals. Anyway, um, it just keeps breaking down more and more, and it's pretty cool. But like you can look at the big picture, but then you just keep breaking it down. It's kind of like life, where like you have your whole life, and then you have different stages in your life. And then there's months, days, hours, minutes, seconds, or like that. Pretty cool. Uh, uh, I mean, fascinating, awesome.
need any water, just let me know. Well, I just picked up my phone to do this and then it said, Naviant says your payment is due in one day or something. But I don't get paid till Friday, so. I'm picking up trash, doesn't that matter? I just get paid to do that. Just go along trails and pick up trash. But also I was thinking, look at this cool trestle here. Or uh, what they call them? That's why I tell people that college is not for everyone. It's like we automatically think, oh, you gotta go to college out of high school. And then if it's not for you, if you just wanna work at a menial, I don't know, de dead end job, like I am. <laughs> but see, I, I'm able to do things like this and get out and cycle and next year I'll be hiking so that's why I like where I am and can never seem to pay off my college debt <laughs> and then not really using my degree yeah. anyway that's just me Anyway, everybody seems to think I got it. Make lots of money and that's the ultimate goal. Gain a whole world and let yet lose your soul. Huh. Humanism is on a roll. See there's trash there. Like a slim Jim. <laughs> uh, anyway. So here we are in the Snoqualmie Tunnel. <laughs> and, uh, I guess it's three miles long. And I was going to interview people, ask them some questions, but it might be too weird. <laughs> you can hear is the dripping sounds. Ash. <laughs> so weird. Thank you. 
Good morning. Everybody. To this little talk. It's hard to do it one handed. You know, yesterday in that big long tunnel, I kept seeing like a sideways perpendicular light. I was like, what's that? I thought it was somebody's weird jacket or like they're maybe they're like a full body reflective suit. But no, that was the tunnel at the other side. I mean the exit of the tunnel. Going back. So now we're headed to a little town of Easton. Got to cross the Yakima River first. So see you there. Wow. Check out this bridge. That was the Easton, or like Easton, and almost into the town of Easton. If we can get some coffee, that sounds good. <laughs> well, that was a little bit of a bummer. I thought they had coffee place in Easton, but nope. <laughs> That's okay. Though. So, on our way to there's a little bit of a town before Cleelum, and then there's the real Cleelum, Cleelum, C L E E L U M. I said that right. I mean, I know I said that right, but. The sound of the traffic at that maybe is distorting what I was saying. But we're doing really good. Just uh, about 38 miles to go for the day.
Hello once again. Just got through South Cleelum. Yeah, you could go to Cleelum and get something like a burger or a coffee or something. But I was, I just have a rant here. Uh, you know, all this gravel stuff. It's dangerous <laughs> for bicycles. So just a word of warning for people that are cycling through here around Clay Ellum. There's a lot of gravel and I almost fell over trying to get through one of those gates, you know, that narrow gate stuff. <laughs> anyway, end of rant. Just 10 miles outside of Ellensburg, but this looks a lot like the Palouse now. There's some windmills hardly turning. Yeah, we could use some wind. Oh yeah, there's some snow cap yarn over there. But, uh, yeah, look, look at my leg. It's like pretty burned up. But yeah, almost there, so probably be fine, right? What happens if it burns right through your, I don't know. There's some weird animal outside my tent. So, uh, I just decided to go the extra way and get there. Because my uncle kind of wanted to get there early. And, at, you know, this way, don't have any problem with the sun. And, uh, Yep, sunburn and all that and heat. <laughs> this is what they do in the Pacific Crest Trail sometimes, and like in California when it's really hot <laughs> during the day. So I guess I thought about that and I was like, I'm taking off a. And then there was some kind of weird animal outside my tent. So here I go. to the finish.